Welcome to the channel. I'm Tony the Technician. Today we're going to be going into some Amazon deals, but these are going to be seven items that everybody with a garage or shop should own. Whether you go with these brands, that's up to you. But all seven of these items all together are basically $100. And I'm going to throw in one at the end that I'm pretty sure everybody already does own. And if you don't, definitely get some. I don't know how you've gone so long without them. But these are supplies and stuff for your garage and shop. The first one up that we were looking at is, and these are in no particular order, the first one we're looking at is the 300-piece Car Fuse Assortment Kit. Now, I'm not saying you need to get one this large, but they are quite affordable, and I can tell you over the years, I've always just kind of had miscellaneous fuses laying around or things that I've purchased that came with fuses or spare fuses. I just kind of have a collection, but... For some reason, when something doesn't come with a fuse or a fuse blows and I need to replace it, I never have the correct amperage or the right size, and I end up going to the store and spending a ridiculous price for like four fuses, because this is what roughly, if you go to AutoZone or O'Reilly's or wherever you go, you pay like $10, 5 $10 for just a few fuses. Um, so this, you get a huge assortment. Uh, all the way from 2 amp up to 40 amp and you get them in three different sizes you got the micro which is ones that I don't really use so you can get these sets without the micro if you know that's something that you're not going to use uh, but the mini and the regular are obviously very popular uh, very commonly used and the micro size is becoming more popular so if you want to get this set just in case you think you might come across those i think this is a very good assortment very well organized you can see there uh, how many you get of each also all of the products that we go over today will be linked down in the description you'll also find another two additional links that will say tools and tools continue those are going to take you to a long list of tools that i've went over in the past so all of the items that we go over today are going to be accessories like this if you guys would like to see another style of video maybe going over like chemicals that you should have around your shop or garage, please let me know your guys' thoughts or any other type, specific type that you would like to see. Please feel free to comment down below. But this one is at $14. It has 4.6 stars at 19,426 ratings. Now that is a combination of all these different size sets. And like I said, you can get them without the, the micro size and you can get them in different size sets. Definitely a lot of different offerings. Next up is this 46 piece sanding disc two inch roll lock uh, disc set. And this comes with a an attachment for your drill, which it, it'll do decent, but like I have a polisher slash sander from Milwaukee, a little M12, and it comes with this at attachment. And these discs are fantastic. Sometimes I can't get my big angle grinder in somewhere where I'm just trying to kind of grind away or um, sand down an area. And sometimes my Dremel is too long. And having that polisher slash sander with this attachment is fantastic. You get three different grits. You got fine, medium, and coarse. And I believe this is the same brand that I bought. A hundred different brands selling this exact same set on Amazon. Um, some may vary in quality. I don't know. The ones I have, it's a big set like this. Might, might have been a little bit bigger than this set. But I've had it for a few, probably three years and they've done a really good job like i had to, to grind away some material on my steering knuckles in order to clearance for my coilovers uh, i just had to use them on my truck because i did aftermarket heavy duty rear shocks and i had to make some clearance on the rear mount on the passenger side these made easy work of it uh, in really awkward situations and obviously these are going to be great for plenty of other scenarios but you can get them in multiple different size sets with different grits so this specific set has 4.7 stars with 2622 ratings it is at 21 dollars. i tried to find the ones that i either have specific experience with or ones that have a high rating and a lot of ratings at that so hopefully we get some decent items next up is one that i just started using a few years ago and absolutely love it um, now when you're doing wiring and stuff up inside of a dash or, you know, working around a lot of other wires, there's certain scenarios where these don't work, where a, a crimp style would work best. Um, but anytime I can use these, I definitely use these. These were a game changer for me. Very, very affordable. The typical price is $10 on these. They're down to $839. This is a 150 piece set. Just like the other ones that we looked at, you can get many other size sets and i've probably bought two or three sets of these because i just i 
I do a lot of wiring and these are a game changer. I first tried to use a little mini torch or a lighter. Um, no, didn't work too well. I ended up burning through the actual heat shrink or the housing of the, the connector. Using a heat gun definitely is best. You have that solder center section and then you have some watertight seals on it and that's heat shrink all around. So it seals it and waterproofs it really nicely. And then that solder uh, simply melts. I, I usually start with the center, heating up the solder first, getting it to start liquefying. And then I work my way out, uh, sealing it with that heat shrink. And this one comes with multiple different sizes. Here you can see right there, 40 pieces of the white, 50 pieces of the red, 50 pieces of the blue, and 10 of the yellow for this specific set. And there you can see the gauge of wire that they're each good for. Yeah, I. this is basically what happens if you try and use a a lighter because trying to get that solder heated up to the point to where it'll actually liquefy um, it just starts heating up everywhere around it and this is kind of what happens so you have to be very careful but once you kind of get the hang of it you might go through a couple of them once you get the hang of it they work really really well uh, so if you can afford the space when you're doing wiring these are definitely a good option instead of you know getting out your entire soldering kit and heat shrink and making sure to put the heat shrink on before you solder and all of that. This just makes it quick and simple compared to that. I just, this was a big game changer for me. So if you guys have used these, please let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comments. Next up, this might not be one that you use quite as often. In my line of work, I use or deal with clips on a daily basis, whether that be hood liners, headliners, trunk liners, fender wells, underbody panels, things like that. Uh, having spare clips around is great. Uh, this one has a huge assortment. This is a 860 piece set. It has 815 retaining clips and then 45 other miscellaneous pieces. Like you have these clips here with the zip tie around it. Kind of, if you want to run some of your wiring nice and neatly, it comes with some of that. You got some plastic trim tools. You have an angled clip tool here for removing here. You can just see just the different variety. And then like I have my project car and, and there are certain things that I've done to it where I've made changes or installed panels that weren't there before and I had no push pins or uh, connectors. And so if you have any type of project vehicle or you work on a decent amount of vehicles, even though this isn't something that you might not use as often as some of the other items, because this is in no particular order, still very, very great to have around and they are assorted very nicely in the different compartments. And I just keep one of these in my work truck and I keep one here in the garage. So there you can kind of see how it's assorted. And this is at $21 down from a list price of $26. This one has 4.6 stars at 1,772 ratings. And you can find many, many different brands at many different prices. So here, like they have a, a little bit smaller set here for 15, under $15. But I figured for the size that you're getting here for the additional couple dollars or a few dollars, it was worth it. And I'm not sure if I stated the reviews on this. The solder butt connectors have 4.5 stars at 16,413 ratings. So rated highly and rated a lot. Next up are the rubber grommets. These are always handy. Once again, another kind of wiring thing, or if you're running, you know, lines or anything like that, these are fantastic running through firewalls, or I had to run some wiring through some battery trays and uh, just a lot of different scenarios. I've used them in the bed of my truck. I mean, they're fantastic to have around and having a various different assortment of different sizes and diameters is fantastic. They even have some blanks here. So if you wanted to, you can either use these to plug a hole that you may not be using, or you can drill it out. You can place this in the hole and drill it out to the specific size that you need so it's nice and tight around whatever you're feeding through it. Uh, this is at $10 for the seven different sizes. It has 4.7 stars at 915 ratings. Again, many different brands offering very similar sets. I figured this was a good size set for a good price. Next up are the cable clamps. This is a 42 piece set, three, 304 stainless steel. Uh, I like the fact that these are stainless steel. There are many others that are not, and they tend to corrode and rust very easily because they are quite thin. Good for, you know, running wiring harnesses, fuel lot, you know, any type of lines. Once again, all, basically, I'm, I guess I'm saying it for every single one, but these are all items that can be really handy to have for multiple different situations. Here you're getting multiple different sizes. So whether you're working with, you know, 
small brake lines or trans cooler lines or fuel lines. Uh, and then there are some sets where you can get, like I purchased one, a set that had large, like this one down here, because I needed a couple in order to support a radiator hose. Just really handy. I have the little Harbor Freight wall organizer and each bin is just filled with basically everything that we're going over. Uh, and I can't tell you how often I'm constantly running over to that little organizer for these accessories or things that you should have in your shop or garage. This has 4.9 stars at 34 ratings, so not quite as many ratings. You do have a 5% discount here. Uh, it is at $14, and then you got 5% discount code. Here are some of the other ones that we see here. So I think this one is priced really well. And then here's the last item we're looking at um, before I get into the one that I'm sure 99.6% of you guys already have. Uh, here is a 40 piece hose clamp set, quarter inch through one and one eighth. These are also 304 stainless steel. So kind of hold up to the elements a little bit better. They are the slotted and hex. There are different fastener designs out there. The slotted are okay. Most of the time these are like a seven, eight millimeter. Sometimes it just depends on the size of the hose clamp that you're working with. Yeah, like here you can see the 304 stainless steel, superior corrosion resistance, rust resistance, uh, smooth polished edges so they're not extremely sharp because I have a cheap set mixed in with some of my better ones and I can definitely tell a difference because some of them do have very, very sharp edges and then some of the cheaper ones also will kind of just sit there and not necessarily strip out. I'm sure you know what I mean, but instead of tightening, uh, it just kind of rolls over and uh, continues to lose resistance. Uh, so there are definitely pros and cons to, to going too cheap on these. These have 4.5 stars with 5,006 ratings, so rated very highly and rated a lot. This is at $13 down from a list price of $16 for this 40-piece set. All seven of the items we just went over will bring you just around $100. It depends on if these items are on sale. Sometimes when the video goes up, they're on a bigger discount. Sometimes the discount's gone. Even at the full prices on these that were on sale, they're still extremely affordable. So drop in $100 and you now have a supply of basically all the miscellaneous accessories that you could need for a lot of different jobs. Uh, this should cover it. If there is any other kind of small little things like this that you keep around your shop or garage, please feel free to drop it down in the comments. And I may do another video like this if you guys enjoy this style of the Amazon videos. And then I can also do another one on like liquids uh, and chemicals and stuff like that. Some other spare items that I keep around the shop. But let's get into the last extra one that kind of throws it over $100, but everyone should have. And that being zip ties. I mean, literally, whether you work in your shopping garage all the time or once a year, if you don't have zip ties on hand, you need to go get some. I don't, I don't know how you've gotten along without them. Organization is a huge part of my life, and zip ties really, really help with that. Now, when you go extremely cheap, some of them can kind of get cheap. <laughs> literally, um, they just they don't bite as well and kind of skip and some of them do get quite expensive when you got that metal tab on the inside that really locks them down. Now, those are extremely nice, uh, but you, you will pay for those. Uh, here you can see the different sizes included in this set. This is a 700-piece set, 4-inch, 6, 8, 10, and 12-inch zip ties up to 40 pounds, UV resistant. There you can see max temperature for these are 185 degrees, minimum of negative 31, and I slip teeth slide. It's a zip tie. You guys... I'm sure understand how it operates. But like I said, you can get cheaper ones or you can get the more expensive ones. I think this is an all around good set. I got one from Napa, I believe it was a thousand piece set for like 20 bucks and it's been great. The only thing I don't like about it is it came with assorted different colors. Like some of the larger ones were yellow, which I don't like running a nice clean wiring harness. And then I need a specific size zip tie and it turns out the only one I have is yellow so i have a huge bag from napa that has a good assortment but multiple different colors and then which is still 
can be handy in certain situations depending on if you're trying to color code things or keep track of things but i think this is a really good deal at 16 dollars with a 10 percent coupon this has 4.6 stars at 4450 ratings and that's it as far as this week's uh, amazon special items that you should have for your shopping garage if you guys have any others like i stated that you keep around the shopping garage that are really handy please feel free to drop it down in the comments if there's any other specific ones that you would like to see in future videos feel free to drop it down in the comments all of these will be linked down below as well as those two additional links if you guys enjoyed make sure to smash that thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed make sure to subscribe and i'll see you guys next time